So here's... No, this is from a different page. So here's my first question to you. Can you build a triangle with those measurements? Why? What do you mean they won't meet? So the way I like to think of these is if you try to build a triangle kind of like a drawbridge, where if you take the 10, put it at the bottom, that's like your river, and then you put the other two sides off of the other side, off of each end, and then try to get them to connect. Will those two sides be able to connect? Why not? Because it's too, they're too far away from each other, right? The two ends would be too short, yes? There's a theorem that basically says with any triangle, if you take side AB and add BC, it has to be bigger than AC. This side plus this side has to be bigger than that side. Also, AB plus AC has to be bigger than BC. And BC plus AC also has to be bigger than AB. If you take any triangle and take two sides, any two sides, it has to be bigger than the third. 4 plus 5 is not bigger than 10, right? This is an impossible triangle to build. Done. Uh, everybody take a look real quick at page 350. Where to go? Actually, 364. There's that. Yeah, real quick. Um, there's that theorem 5.11. It's basically the triangle inequality theorem, and that's all it says: is any two sides of any triangle has to add up to be bigger than the third. Make sense? Okay, turn the page, 366. Number one, can you build that triangle out of a 5, a 7, and a 10? Yeah. Yes? Okay, how about number two, 3, 4, and 7? What's the easiest way to do these? Add the two smallest sides and see if it's bigger than the biggest. How about number three, 6, 14, and 10? Because 6 plus 10 is bigger than 14? Okay. Um, how about number four? They tell you two sides of the triangle are five and nine. So all you know is one side is five, the other side is nine. What are some, what, is it possible that the third side is four? Why not? Four plus five is nine. If you tried to build a triangle like this, what would happen when you, what kind of, what would the triangle look like? It'd be a straight line. Like it would exactly land back on top of itself. So that's not possible. What's the other measurement that says five? Can you build a triangle like five, five, and nine? Yes. How about six? Can you have a six here? Yes? How about a 14? Why not? Because 5 plus 9 is not bigger than 14, right? So now this side becomes the longest side, and these two have to add up to be bigger than that, right? So the only two that are possible there are B and C. Yes? Of course, what's it say? What's the least possible one? What's the smallest possible one? So what's the answer? Five. Make sense? 
All right. Okay, so here's our goal. We are given that XW is congruent to YW. We want to prove that YZ, this side here, plus ZW, this side here, has to be bigger than this side over here. All right. What does the triangle inequality theorem say? Teachers, please excuse the interruption. Can you please release ninth grade students with the last names beginning A through B to the distance learning lab? Or B to oh, Thank you. Vision testing. Vision testing, I believe. Yeah. A to B. Vision testing. All right, so the triangle inequality statement says that side what? YZ plus ZW has to be bigger than YW. Yes? Why did I write it there? Whoa, I don't know why I wrote it there. YZ plus ZW is greater than YW. And what was the reason we made that statement? Triangle inequality, Triangle inequality theorem. All right. Can I make a substitution? Yes. yes. Can I say that YZ plus ZW is greater than XW by substitution? And I'm done. These are really, 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 really easy. So, everybody look at number 18. Guys, everybody look at number, nine, eight, number 18. They give you two angles are congruent. If angle C is congruent to that angle CDB, what two sides can I say are congruent? BC and BD? And then doesn't it become exactly the same proof? You just do a triangle inequality, what two sides are, add up to be bigger than the other, and then do a substitution. Uh, there's a couple different ways you could write that. If you wrote uh, base angles theorem is the best answer to tri uh, for isosceles triangles. Remember when we did the isosceles triangles with the base angles? That's the easiest way to do it. Um, but... And then number 19 is basically exactly like this one. So don't be afraid of these proofs. They're really easy. All you have to do is write a triangle inequality theorem of what two sides and look at what they give you. Like number, or look what they, look what they want. Number 19. They want KJ plus KL is bigger than LM. Well, what can we say about KJ plus KL right now with a triangle inequality theorem? It has to be bigger than 
JL. And then once you have that, you just got to use a substitution and you're done. So don't be afraid of these proofs. They are actually really easy. Okay? Are we good?